religious secular and academic and took up the interviews including both interior and posterior segment in this video we will describe your face where the viscoelastic canula acted both as a sort of video is not clear during the cataract surgery after lifelong financial interest so the video is not clear a 62 year old male was mm-hmm. planned for fetal transplantation surgery with torricarian canula associated ocular injury is a commonly recognized complication describe your face where the viscoelastic canula acted both as a wrecker and savior during the cataract surgery. After lifelong financial interest, a 62-year-old male was planned for fetal transplantation surgery with torricaria implantation and topical anesthesia. After the initial marking of axis of torricaria, two cycle entries were made. viscoelastic was injected into the anterior chamber using a 27 gauge cannula as it can be seen during injection viscoelastic cannula dislodged suddenly and directly hit the lens causing a 360 degree zonal dislocation and its dislocation was hydrated and the patient was left aflated. A second stage anterior chamber eye implantation was done and the patient achieved a best corrected visual acuity of 6 by 9 at 1 month post op. Such drastic complications during routine cataract surgeries can easily be prevented by taking simple precautions. Following are the take home message from this case. Prior to any intraocular use, the union of cannula and the syringe should always be checked by surgeons themselves. should be performed to ensure the 
Dr. Grover, would you have a few comments about uh, this case and how you would manage it or any anything different that you would do? Just move the mic. Thank you, Dr. Samya, for having driven home the carry home message very well that you need to be doubly sure of your tightening of the cannula before you inject either air or a, an OVD. That needs emphasis, re-emphasis, because we've all at least caused a hyphema, if not a dislocation with that when the cannula comes off. I was just wondering why you didn't choose to use a vitrector, why a sponge vitrect me? Um, the other thing that I wanted to ask you about was, uh, Delivering with a vectus is fine, but would you not try and coat the cornea with a good viscoelastic before you do that so that you have a better protection of the endothelium or maybe use another instrument in front to keep the nucleus safely away from endothelium when you deliver it? Actually, we did use a viscodispersive uh, viscoelastic before delivering it, and uh, the cannula was actually acting, uh, the assistant was holding the cannula, and she just directed it uh, towards the wound while delivering. So there was not actually much of a rubbing of the endothelium delivery. Okay. Anybody else wants to come? Uh, yeah, nicely done. I would like the uh, opinion, starting with Dr. Boris, sir. What is your opinion today on uh, anterior chamber IOLs? You know, uh, my opinion, uh, I personally don't use them, uh, first of all, and uh, I, but I remove them quite frequently during uh, endothelial keratoplasty procedures. So um, I do believe that the latest publication on, on that was from a paper from the American Academy of Ophthalmology that was comparing different types of uh, IOLs, suture, iris suture fixation, spheral, uh, fixation and anterior chamber IOL and I think that uh, the conclusion was that uh, they all work more or less well and uh, there is a general recommendation uh, if you consider using anterior chamber IOL think about life expectancy of the patient it's definitely not uh, the case for the younger patient however if you have a kind of old uh, patient with a lot of comorbidities and you think that your scleral fixation will take too long and so it might be a good idea to use something very simple uh, very quick uh, and so I'm not against that type of lenses Can, uh, given in mind that comment about the life expectancy and the any comments fixation? from the panel on Thank primary you. versus a secondary quadriplex IOL implantation. This was a secondary done at a later stage. Couldn't that be uh, done at the same time if you get a good meiosis? So, uh, can so actually we were not really sure of, uh, what's the extent of the injuries since it was like a quite extensive cause of 360 degrees zonal descents. That's why we waited, we planned a second stage so that we could do a thorough fundus evaluation. That was it. Okay. Can I just ask whether your strange that was used, was it a lure lock syringe? Yeah, ma'am, it was a Helon uh, syringe. And probably the most likely explanation was like it was not correctly placed by the assistant. And I obviously checked and check it quite uh, nicely. So that was the explanation for that. Thanks. Uh, we'll quickly go on. We have last two videos now. Uh, Dr. Kumar, doctor, uh, speaking on small is tough and uh,